Today on Try My Chow, we're going to make one of my favorite dishes. Oxtail, otherwise known as habaderes in Spanish or habada in Brazilian Portuguese. Let's do it. Let's start by rinsing the meat with lemon and vinegar. Mix it well. Now, let's remove the excess juice. Add half a tablespoon of salt and one tablespoon of black pepper. Mix it again. Put some olive oil in a pan on high heat and place the oxtails in it. Reduce the heat to medium and add a bit of water to the seasoning. By doing this, you will avoid burning it since we'll be using the seasoning to make our mushroom gravy later. After you sear the meat on both sides, remove it from the heat. For this next step, drizzle some olive oil into a pressure cooker. Put some fresh thyme and rosemary stems and also some bay leaves in the cooker. Go ahead and put your oxtails in the cooker. Add one tablespoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of onion powder, two packs of saison, and one cup of water. Squeeze in half a lemon. Set your pressure cooker to cook for 40 minutes. Let's prepare our mushroom gravy. Chop up a large onion. Chop up about eight mushrooms. Add about a tablespoon of olive oil to the pan that you use to fry the oxtails and set the heat to high. Add your onions. Add your mushrooms. Mix it all up. When the water from the veggies starts to dry out, remove it from the heat. After your oxtails finish cooking, remove the excess fat from the beef stock in the pressure cooker and set aside two cups of the beef stock. The fat will usually be at the surface of the beef stock. Make sure not to accidentally remove too much beef stock. If you don't have enough beef stock, you can always use store-bought beef stock to make up for what's missing. We're going to reuse the same pan that we were just using earlier. Add a tablespoon of olive oil and five minced garlic cloves. Once it starts to get a brown color, add two cups of beef stock. After that, add two tablespoons of cornstarch. Whisk it up until the cornstarch is completely dissolved. Add your mushrooms and onions. Let it simmer for five minutes or until it has this consistency. You're all set. Serve your oxtail and mushroom gravy with a side of white rice. The meat will be falling right off the bones. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up for this recipe. Also, leave a comment down below letting me know if you're going to try this. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next Try My Chow recipe video.